Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti Santi. Amen. So our fellow H&I members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, the repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that we hold. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hans Inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false with accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict. Pope St. Peace the Tenth and Pope St. John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who finally work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now they are for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti Santi. Amen. Oh, 
the the words we created upon him to do COVID-19. This is Ang mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o bayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyon ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to One Inclusion Live Weekend Sunday Edition. Today is Sunday, May 30, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To start off our show this afternoon, let us now read our daily verse for today. From Psalm chapter 56, verse 3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment. And we will be back after these commercials. Now this.
Welcome back to One Inclusion Live Weekend. This afternoon, we'll discuss to you about employment for the deaf. Jen Jokto says she has gone through 20 types of jobs and has experienced years of unemployment despite being a college graduate. She has worked as a fast food crew member, an encoder, and a teaching assistant. At one point, she was job less for three years, a period which made her feel frustrated and depressed. Go and other coaches volunteer to help the Unilab Foundation initiative called Project Inclusion, which matches persons with disability to employers. The initiative has evolved into the nonprofit organization Project Inclusion Network. In 2018, Go Jokno and Dave Mariano, Executive Director of Special Education Institution, the Learning Center Incorporated, set up Hand and Heart. The social enterprise is based in Cubao, Quezon City, and aims to provide the deaf access to jobs through skills enhancement, trainings, and disability awareness. Go handles the center's business development, while Jokno is the general manager. The center is comprised of two deaf staff and two hearing staff. Hand and Heart helps smooth the process from job interviews until the deaf employee is adjusted to the company's work environment. It offers interpreting services at the job interview, and when the deaf employee is hired, it provides a deaf awareness lecture for co-workers. This involves sensitivity training on deaf culture, how to communicate with the deaf, and skills trainings for the deaf. Jokla says doubts remain that the deaf are as competent as hearing employees. She explained, here in the Philippines, employers are not aware about the deaf community. They think I can't do the work the same as the hearing people. The communication barrier is one of the main concerns. But Jokno says one can use writing to get a message across. She has also experienced teaching co-workers sign language during lunch breaks, but found out that it is younger colleagues who are more receptive to learning compared with older ones. Ironically, Jokno has felt taken advantage of it in terms of the workload. Customers and hotel staff alike were so pleased with the trainees in the workplace that, they, that in the past several years, the training extended to people with Down syndrome and deaf students. The internship culminated in September 2019 for four deaf trainees who are 12th grade students and four trainees with Down syndrome. The persons with Down syndrome underwent training for 40 hours while the deaf had 80 hours of training which covered front desk assistance and housekeeping cleaning standards. Employees were able to refine their sign language know-how through the help of the very enthusiastic and patient deaf interns. Santo Domingo also spoke about how well the deaf were able to bond with the rest of the staff. The interns impressed managers of the hotel such that the housekeeping supervisor Ramon Bariga declared the deaf trainees ready for employment. Santo Domingo said they are willing to hire them whether they have a college degree or not. So, what, what are the companies that do have employment for the deaf? Well, we have some companies that they do have employment for the deaf. First of all, we have Signs Restaurant. This restaurant is located in Toronto, Canada. All of the workers there are deaf. According to Anjan Manikumar, the owner of that restaurant, he said that it is the first restaurant in Canada that has deaf employees. The second is Lamoyan Corporation. This company has some, has some deaf employees. Elite and Overdotes. This is an ice cream parlor in a cookie shop that they do have deaf employees. They do also have deaf employees. So remember, I remember this ice cream and the overdose cookies. When I went to Century City Mall in Makati, I went to LA, experienced with uh, communicating with the deaf, and, and also in Benil as well. And also, in overdose, I know someone. It's Angela Bataliones, who, who who is a member of Best Buddies Philippines and and 
and worked in Overdose Century City Mall Makati branch. And she was employed with the assistance of Project Inclusion Network of Unilab Foundation. Next is Frutas Holdings Incorporated. Frutas and Buku Loco promotes inclusion by hiring deaf employees. So I remember when I went to Robinson's Magnolia, I saw the, the, the Frutas and the uh, Bukoluko, which says you are being served by a deaf crew member. Actually, when I know this company, they do also have deaf employees as well. This one, the field of mass media and mass communications. ABS-CBN, GMA, TV5, and TV Maria, uh, these Channels have sign language interpreters during newscasts on the big three channels and on Catholic masses on TV Maria. Technically, when I saw the sign language interpreters on TV, uh, on TV Maria, there is a sign language interpreter there during the masses of the Archdiocese of Manila. Uh, and also on TV5, I saw the, on TV there are sign language interpreters during newscasts and especially on Idol in Action show of Mr. Rafi Tufo. Jimmy Network, I think they do have sign language interpreters for 24 horas, but I think they do have already have. But ABS-CBN and uh, they do have sign language interpreters on TV Patrol and also especially during the uh, coverage of the State of the Nation address as well starbucks this coffee shop has a signing store located in us in washington dc penang in malaysia japan and in china another company that that may promote inclusion by hiring deaf drivers is grab I think yung itong company nil, ay, alam ko yata sa Malaysia and Singapore, yata meron ito. But, kasi Grab, that's a ride-sharing company that promote inclusion. They do hire deaf drivers, especially in Malaysia and Singapore as well. Next is Singapore Airlines and Malaysia Airlines. These Air and carriers promote inclusion by including sign language and their in-flight safety videos. So remember, I remember when I wrote Singapore Airlines, when I went to Singapore in November 2015, I saw a video, this one. There is a sign language interpreter on the, on the in-flight safety video of Singapore Airlines. I remember that also when I went to Singapore in November 2015. Okay, anyway, in summary, many companies are falling short of diversity and inclusion goals in the workplace. They might think there isn't a problem with bias in their hiring practices, or they might make great grand declarations about their commitments to these noble concepts, but put no plans into action but to actually achieve tangible results. Some may be misguided in their assumptions that diversity and inclusion are interchangeable. Finding work can be challenging for a deaf or hard of hearing person. Deaf and hard of hearing people may experience discrimination both before and after finding employment. An employer or co-worker may be uncomfortable with deafness. So, Here in the Philippines, we, we do have some livelihoods to the deaf community in our country as well. So 
Every November, November of every year, in the Philippines, we celebrate the Deaf Awareness Week. And also, we have laws in order for us to give respect to the Deaf community. First of all, we have the Filipino Sign Language Sign Language Law that took effect in October 2018, October 30, 2018, under the leadership of the current President of the Republic of the Philippines, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. That is Republic Act number 11106. So, the Filipino Sign Language shall be the official language of the Filipino deaf employed in the civil service, in the private, and the public sector. For this purpose, the public and the private sectors shall take reasonable measures to encourage the use of Filipino sign language among its deaf and hearing employees, including the conduct of awareness and training seminars on the rational and use of Filipino sign language. The University of the Philippines, in collaboration with the Commission Sawikam Filipino, professional linguistic organizations, and deaf linguistic researchers shall formulate the guidelines for the development of training materials for the employees of the Department of Justice, the Judiciary, the Department of Health, the Department of Social and Welfare and Development, the Philippine Commission on Women, Council for the Welfare of Children, Commission of Human Rights, um, companies in the public and the private sector, Department of Labor and Employment, and the Department of Trade and Industry in the conduct of the mandates and activities of these concerned offices. So, everybody deserves the right to have a work, a job, or your vocation. But we have to admit that persons with disabilities are more disadvantaged when it comes to getting hired. Thankfully, because of our consistent call for equality in the play field, more and more employee establishments are hiring PWDs. Despite their disability, these hardworking people often turn out to be great employees. Only shows how PWDs have strong assets to companies. So the so in summary, first, Frutas and the original Jamaican patty shop, Buco Loco, are under the Frutas group of companies. As early as the year 2010, they do hire deaf employees. The Happy Project, Farron Cafe is a coffee franchise that offers probably Filipino coffee with good value for the customer's money and to promote the quality of our local products. Elite and Overdotes, these are cookies store and the ice cream store and move where most of the employees in Elite are deaf. They also conduct workshops to the public and to learn basic sign language. We also have the Don the Namay Cafe, which um, these uh, PWD baristas are well trained, and they also have vocational training to PWDs through the Green Foundation for PWD Incorporated. These businesses show how PWD co workers are just as hard working and determined just as the rest of us, and that they can do amazing work despite their disability. We hope to see more establishments follow to this set example so that our civilized society becomes much more inclusive, one business at a time. Aside from this, we do also have some example is Jess Posadas, one of the sign language interpreters, if you remember during the inclusive report, sorry, during the capital report of Isco Moreno, aired on the Manila Public Information Office at also, nagsa sign language interpreter din sa flag raising ceremony every Monday sa Manila City Hall. If you remember, 
If you remember Jess Posadas, ito siya, o. Oh. Ito si Jess Posadas. Siya yung isa sa mga sign language interpreters ni uh, Yorme Isko ng Maynila. Ito siya. Ipakita ko yung... Ito siya, o. Oh. Yo, in January 31, I think, sa, I think just before the end of January, yung the capital report of the Manila Public Information Office, they already have a sign language interpreter. His name is Brother Jess Posadas. Ito siya, o. Oh. Ito siya. Ito siya. If you look, ito siya, o. Oh. Siya din ay isa sa mga interpreters doon sa, yung nakita ko sa video ng live streaming ng flag ceremony ng Manila City Hall kasama si Isko, si Ma'am Hani, Ma Vice Mayor Hani, Lapuna, at si Yorme Isko ng Maynila. So, to summarize our topic, Dr. Employment is one of the many possible outcome measures, but one is typically used as an indicator to abil for the ability to, li to live independently, to attain financial stability, and of course, to maintain a quality of life. So here in the Philippines, the Filipino Sign Language is served as the national as the official sign language for the um, for the for the deaf employees. As a mandated language law for Republic Act number one 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 seven that recognized the Filipino Sign Language as the official sign language in the Philippines. The private and the public sectors shall take reasonable measures to encourage the use of the Filipino sign language, especially for the deaf and the hearing employees, including the conduct of awareness and seminars and webinars on the rational and the use of Filipino sign language. So that ends our topic proper this afternoon. Now let us move on to the announcements part of our show. First of all, we have products for sale at the Hansen Inclusion online shop. First, we have that One Inclusion Nation t-shirts. The colors range from white, yellow, black, red, and blue. Sizes range from extra small to double extra large and prices range from 400 pesos to 450 pesos. But wait, there's more. We have the Hanson Inclusion tote bags. The small size is 220 pesos, medium is 240 pesos, large is 260 pesos, and if you want a text on the back, you need to pay an additional 50 peso charge. And for our Hanson Inclusion stickers, we include our yes, it's 250 pesos, and the inibig ko ang mga pinay EWDs is 150 pesos. What will be our modes of payment? Well, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. So we're accepting payments from GCash and our Maya on this number flashing your screen 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. In addition to GCash and our Maya, we're also accepting payments from Palawan Pawn Shop and Cebuana Lulier. And you may message the Hansen Inclusion Facebook page for more details. So how will be this be delivered? It will deliver to your homes via our courier providers. For areas under the NCR Plus, 
It will deliver to you via Tok Tok, Lala Move, Gogo Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines. The rest of the country will be delivered to you via LBC. Do you want to donate to Hansen Inclusion? Well, it will be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hansen Inclusion. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. It will be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hansen Inclusion. How? You may, you should do your part in donating to Hansen Inclusion. And, it'll be, and you may do so by a GCash or your Maya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. So please, please and please, use this time to donate to Hansen Inclusion and buy our products from the Hansen Inclusion online shop right as early as now. For those who did, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, Thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hansen Inclusion. Hansen Inclusion is looking for the following. Volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploaders. If you're willing to work as a volunteer, if you have a laptop and or a desktop and a strong internet connection, if you are committed to work, if you have good attitude and character and a college graduate, you may send your resume at handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. Again, that's handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. For those who did it, so we will attend to you at any time soon for the, regarding this. We have activities coming up at Best by these Philippines for the month of June. June 5 will be dedication. June 12, Greens and Pots with Louise and Gabrielle. June 16, we have Wellness Wednesday. June 19, we'll be having Chico's Coffee Coolers with Chico, Sel Selena, Grace, and Ali. And June 26, we have the Come Craft with SM Cares. So, watch out for these activities on the Best Buddies Philippines Saturday series and the Wellness Wednesday as well. Do you want to, do, to follow us on Hansen Inclusion? Well, it would be appreciated for you guys to follow Hansen Inclusion on social media. Then you follow us on Facebook, Hansen Inclusion PH, Instagram, Hansen Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hansen Inclusion Philippines. In addition, you may want to follow Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Mihan, Inclu Gaming, and the online shop on Facebook, and of course, the Indie Gaming YouTube channel. So, for those who did this, thank you for your continuous support to Hansen Inclusion. Coming up next later on editorial, we will discuss to you about the path to happiness. So, part of the joy you experience in life comes from the surprise discoveries of what you bask in contentment. The reason why we have the path to happiness. and learn how to be happy with the path to happiness. You will find out this later tonight on Editorial, later at 7 p.m. with me, yours truly, Carlos Kanahashi, only here on Inclu Radio and Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Okay, let's have the time for our shout outs and greetings.
first for our birthday celebrants Sanji Kumar and Maria Zara Gregorio Viado happy birthday po and expect the more birthdays to come also I want to say good afternoon to the following people and thank you also to the following people first to my family good afternoon hi to hands and inclusion uh especially to our founder roylan marlang to billicent Makuse. Christian Chan, Vel, Maria Mitchell, and Cedric Mariano, and Archie Kunanan. Um, to Angelo Ancheta, Asher Santos, Frenzel Sebrian, Jean Ignacio, Gloria Antorfia, Sir Hendrik, Sir John Red, Jennifer Augustine, Lady Jane Elisar, Marianne Manrique, Mark Doctama, Mary Jean, Javier Mayro Delfinado, Rita Aquino, Roy Galfo, Romualdo San Pascual, Ronald Manlanpao, Samantha Season, Tara Francisco, Veronica Kalanang, and Kuya Yo, good afternoon po, and thank you. To Angat PWD United, to Mom Carmen Zubiaga, Sir Archie Tunanan, Sir Hendrix, Sir Eliseo, Mom Chiki, Mom Gloria, and the others po, good afternoon po. Also to Best Buddies Philippines, to Michelle Aventajado, Nino Aventajado, Gia Aventajado, uh, Pia Guanyo Mago, Cal Ebora, Alan Angelo Nang, Ali Rojas, Angela Bataliones, Ian Borleo, Nico Velasco, Jessica Malca, Nina Bantoto, Grace Loedin, Regina Feliciano, Larry Aguirre, um, and the others po sa Best Buddies Philippines good afternoon po and thank you to Best Buddies Benil to Sir Martin Romero Clarissa Gonzalez Joella Laurito Bobby Anonas Jamie Javier um, Genevieve Gutierrez Kiran Fanega Brian Pabustan Mary Rose Ake, Sabrina Bonafe, Chris Sandoval, Tamara pa Pacursa, uh, uh, si, uh, Nina Calderon, Dea Aguila, Isa Madero, Bianca Montemayor, And the others po sa Best Buddies Menil, good afternoon po. Also to my high school and college friends, good afternoon and thank you. Also to Autism Society Philippines, Autism Strong Philippines, Project Inclusion Network, Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, Association for Adults with Autism Philippines, A Child's Dream Foundation, SM Cares, Ateneo Speed, uh, Guild of Thomas Science Pedicators, uh, Psychological Society of Assumption, Special Olympics Philippines, and other PWD organizations. Good afternoon, Pa, and also to say thank you, God. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagay ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and or your well-being as well. Okay. This year, 2021, Hansen Inclusion is celebrating its fourth anniversary with the team Bagong Tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. This is a courage towards a One Inclusion Nation. And this is the true taste of One Inclusion Nation. Hanson Inclusion is a community of volunteers that promotes proper inclusion of people with disabilities in the Philippines. The purpose is to share their stories to help PWDs become accepted in our civilized society as individuals and to help them live as equals. So inclusion is our thrust to create awareness 
of what PWDs and our other benefactors are going through, how they can be supported and accepted in society as functioning individuals. As an inclusion was founded on March 8, 2017 by Roiland Gorospe Marlang, a self-advocate with autism from Pasay City. This initiative was started as Inclusion in Action. Over the past four years, our achievements that we have done are the Inclusion Ako campaign, the online shop, interconnected multimedia files, seminars and webinars, testimonials, lab reports, bazaars, and more. Our guiding statements are, we, as a social awareness group, encourage ordinary people to be informed of the inclusion of the major sectors of our society and its benefits by means of social media and other possible effective means. Our vision is we see that because of inclusion, the major sectors of our society would be embraced and supported, starting from our network and towards the rest of the country and eventually the world. Through inclusion, we unify both our beneficiaries and the majority of society. Enhancing inclusion, we continue to put God first, truth first, people first, and to promote our culture and to show discipline. So, the best gift for us in this fourth anniversary of Hanson Inclusion is this. I would like to appeal to the current and former members of Hanson Inclusion to observe proper decorum so that we will not have any problems. Let us continue to have a good example. We must learn how to show good attitude and show to be professional. Act like a neutral person. Your cooperation and our undivided attention is highly appreciated. We must learn how to be considerate, to understand each other, and to be self-controlled. The reason why we're doing this is this is for us doing its best for being peaceful and systematic in our organization. Umapela ko po sa lahat ang pinakamahalagang regalo ngayong ikapat anibersaryo dito sa Anthony Fusion ay ito. Umapela ko po sa lahat ng mga miyembro ng Anthony Fusion na dapat sun sumunod tayo sa mga kinakailangan natin sumunod. Maging isang mabuting halimbawa tayo. Dapat kayo magkaroon ng magandang asal at pag-uugal. Dapat maging professional. Ang ating kooperasyon at atensyon ang kinakailangan. At dapat maging neutral tayo. Dapat magkailangan tayo maging konsidera tayo sa ibang tao. Magpakunawaan tayo sa isa't asta. At higit sa lahat ang pagkokontrolado ng ating sarili. Alam nin rin ang inyong mga tungkulin at obligasyon. You should know your roles and your obligations as well. Ito ay ginagawa para magiging mapayapa at maayos ang organisasyon na ito ng matagal. Apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hanson Inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal organization and expect a brand new start. Sa mga nakikipanood sa atin, bukod po sa ating pasensya at pangunawa, hinihingin namin ang inyong tulong at panalangin sa anumang rehilyan ninyo na sana ibalik ang Hanson Inclusion sa panghinaharap at hinihingi niyo ito sa Panginoon. At sana magkaroon tayo ng bagong simula. Ngayong ikaapat anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Okay. And that wraps up our episode of One Inclusion Live Weekend for Sunday, May 30, 2021. I'll be back again later tonight at 7 o'clock in the evening for Editorial Sunday Edition. On behalf of Inclu Radio and Hanson Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Thank you, good afternoon, and may the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalainawa tayo ng poong may kapa. We include our yes. We at Hanson Inclusion include us and include each other. 
And we include together for one inclusion forever. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Thank you, good afternoon to all, and thank you for watching. And bye for now. Maraming salamat, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat, at maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Bye-bye!